What is going on everyone? And welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to give my thoughts on solo mode after trying it out for my solo mode challenge, where I played on a brand new character to simulate that new player experience and nerf myself by equipping level 5 gems and even 3 engravings. Unfortunately, there didn't seem to be much interest in those videos. I mean, I enjoyed them, but I discontinued them and figured I may as well wrap it up with a final thoughts video. Before we get started, I just want to remind you all to hit that subscribe button. We are still on our road to 20%. So if you haven't already, pause this video right now and subscribe. Your support means the world to me. All right, let's break this down. Let's start off with the good stuff. One of the best aspects of solo play in Lost Ark is that you are on your own time. This is pretty obvious. No more waiting for that one friend who's always late. You know who I'm talking about. No carrying someone who has no clue what they're doing in the raid. You control the pace and you can tackle the content at your own leisure. Many people have raid anxiety, which is something that shouldn't be brushed off. So it's really nice that Lost Ark implemented solo mode raids. You can do pretty much every other content solo like Chaos Dungeons, Guardians, Cubes, you know, pretty much everything. Not that I would recommend it, but it makes sense to be able to do those raids solo as well. There's also the progression aspect. Solo content still offers decent rewards after the changes. Sure, it may take longer, but hey, it's a path that exists. I'm not going to complain. However, one major issue I've encountered is its lack of intuitiveness. Even as a veteran player, I found myself struggling to clear the raid in one shot, despite knowing the normal mechanics inside and out. This can be incredibly frustrating for some players, and it might even deter players who are less experienced or don't have as much time to dedicate to learning through trial and error. The biggest drawback, in my opinion, is the absence of an in-game guidance. It would be immensely helpful to have a UI or notification box that offers hints or explains the mechanics as you encounter them. This could be something as simple as a hint section that provides tips on what to do when you're facing a new mechanic for the first time. Without this, P layers are left to fend for themselves, which can be daunting and discouraging. For example, when I was running Clown Gate 3 solo mode, I completely messed up on the bingo mechanic. I just straight up forgot how it worked. And of course, there are no tips in this game. You either remember it or you have to use a calculator. So what did I do? I had to pull up a third party calculator just to get through it. And it just reminded me of how Lost Ark often leaves new and returning players hanging, making us rely on outside tools to clear content. You should know this from elixirs and transcendence. It's a common problem. Same thing with a con solo mode. You used to be able to rely on teammates and supports to shield, heal, stagger, DPS, all that stuff. But now, you've got to do all of that on your own. You even have to handle the sidereal on your own, which is a lot more challenging than you think. It's just another example of how solo mode doesn't do enough to adapt these mechanics in a way that's manageable for a single player. Speaking of raid specific challenges, Voldis solo mode is another beast. You have all these mechanics that you usually split between players, but in solo mode, you have to do everything by yourself. There's a lot of dodging, countering, positioning, and without teammates to help juggle that load, it becomes overwhelming pretty fast. The difficulty of these older raids like Voldis and Akon really stands out when you're running them solo. And it raises questions about the game's balance for solo players. Given these challenges, 
there is definitely room for improvement. Incorporating a hint system or a tutorial feature within solo mode could bridge the gap between experience levels and make the content more approachable. It would help players understand the mechanics better and make solo mode a more rewarding experience overall. And like I mentioned before, another aspect to consider is the balancing of difficulty. While it's great to have a challenge, it shouldn't be so punishing that it becomes a barrier for entry. Lower tier raids like Clown and Akan are often way harder than they should be in solo mode. I've seen people who clear Thaimine and Echidna Gate 3 with no issues, but then they struggle hard with Akan solo mode. And by struggling, I mean they simply cannot clear it at all. That's a clear sign that some tweaks are needed. One thing I do worry about is the pacing of the solo mode content release. I'm worried that we just got this mode as a quick band-aid fix to satisfy the player base temporarily, but they haven't come up with any long-term solutions. For instance, we haven't heard anything about Thaimine, or Echidna's solo modes being released. And with new raids like Behemoth and Aegir coming real, real soon, I'd expect to see some communication about Thaimine and Echidna's solo mode. Well, where are they? Hopefully, we hear something soon because solo content should be consistent and available across the board. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. I'm plugging it in again. 20%, everybody! Your support is needed. And for my pineapple gang, still love you all for watching until the end. Go ahead and leave a comment with the word coconut in it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.